You've heard it over and over again. Wearing a mask, washing your hands and maintaining social distancing is important to help stop the spread of COVID-19, right? But what about other ways to help your body fight off the virus? Sarah Hammond spoke to a make it internal medicine doctor who says boosting your immune system. It's a good place to start. A study published by researchers at Washington University suggests that boosting your immune system could be a potential treatment strategy for COVID-19 or at the very least lessen the severity of your symptoms should you test positive. And Dr. Ranamana has some tips on how to do just that. Unfortunately, a lot of folks think that there's some magic pill that they can take to boost their immunity. I think it's a number of modalities that you have to live by in order to boost your immune system. She says number one, cut out tobacco. Because those can intrinsically harm our lungs. Next would be moderate alcohol, maybe one to two glasses of wine at night. It may be good for our heart health. Exercise daily. We should walk 30 minutes every single day. And it doesn't have to be anything fancy. You can just walk in your neighborhood. Uh, you can walk around your house. Eating a good, healthy diet that is full of fruits and vegetables and tree nuts and a moderate amount of lean meat. Mana also says making sure your blood pressure stays around 120 over 70 and keeping your blood sugar down will also help boost that immune system. By moderating your immune system, you stand a better chance of not having a severe an infection. That we need to start modifying our lifestyles and doing everything we can do to boost our own immune system. Dr. Mana says it's also important to build strong relationships and find creative outlets that boosts your psychological well-being, which plays a key role in keeping you healthy. In Macon, Sarah Hammond, 13 WMAZ News. Definitely some good advice you can use. Dr. Munna also says typically the younger you are, the stronger your immune system is, but it's never too early to start changing some habits to help your body fight off infections.